Mira is mandated by law to conduct a renewal for national identity cards every 10 years. The authority says this is because of enhancement of security features which could have degenerated or due to the changes that could have occurred on the beholder. That the expiry of your national ID does not imply that your citizenship has expired. We need to be cognizant of the fact that citizenship never expires. It is the card that expires. The new guidelines indicate that NIRA will set up mobile enrollment sites in 10,594 parishes in the 146 districts in Uganda. Applicants will be able to fill renewal or enrollment forms physically at the sites or online for those with access to the internet. After submitting the application, your biometrics will be taken and those who apply online will have to physically visit the registration centers. Once successful, new applicants from the age of 16 will be issued with a card and a national identification number. Those renewing will receive a new card with a similar national identification number. However, your application may be unsuccessful due to inadequate documentation, inconsistent or differing information. We shall also add an iris and other biometric features to the new ID card. Previously, government had set a 50,000 shillings fee for renewals, which has now been removed, according to Internal Affairs State Minister General David Muhose's statement to Parliament on Tuesday. The amendment here is intended to remove the fees payable by a citizen for renewal of a national ID card and instead introduce fees, fees right from the speaker and honorable members only for express service. The renewal process is expected to be concluded before the election year of 2026. Walter Mwesije, NTV.